Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Hans Gruber, and today we're going to be discussing Michael Kamen's score for Die Hard. Michael Arnold Kamen, born New York City in 1948, Juilliard School of Music 1965, orchestrated for Pink Floyd, Eric Clapton, and Queen, late 1970s, 1980s. 11 ballets, a saxophone concerto, an electric guitar concerto. Nominated for two Academy Awards, winner of three Grammys. Most important, Michael Kamen was one of the preeminent film composers of the 1980s and 90s. While he came from the world of rock and roll, he was well known for quoting and adapting orchestral concert works into his original scores. Benefits of a classical education. As it happens, Die Hard is a primary example of Kamen's use of the concert repertoire. In this case, director John McTiernan requested that Kamen adapt Beethoven's Ninth Symphony into the score because of a clockwork orange. Are you referring to the background score? Yes! The Die Hard villains are a reimagining of the Beethoven loving droogs from the Kubrick film, hence the connection. <laughs> But, for Michael Kamen, it wasn't enough to take a classical tune and simply drop it into the score, or perhaps change the instrumentation. No, where Kamen differed from other, lesser composers is that he would take the material and turn it into actual dramatic underscore, like this. Here, the Beethoven is cold but elegant, vicious but refined, it speaks to the aesthetic of my character, so the theme becomes part of the very fabric of the score rather than a random outside force simply grafted on by someone who fell in love with a temp track. Of course, Beethoven isn't the score's only reference. Note the use of sleigh bells and Christmas tunes throughout the score. Most of the major characters in the film are heard whistling or humming a festive melody at some point. As such, Cayman makes use of Winter Wonderland and Singing in the Rain. Of course, Singing in the Rain was also prominent in Clockwork Orange, yet another connection to that seminal film and its score. There is also original material. The Die Hard score's primary motif is a brief four notes rather tragic in nature. Because Officer John McLean is an everyman, his so-called heroism is never emphasized by the music. It never glorifies him. It turns him into Rambo. Go fuck yourself, Hans. Instead, the score is either situational or takes the side of the villains who get the more recognizable melody, a melody that has been celebrated for nearly 300 years. Merry Christmas. The score, as a whole, is more sarcastic and playful than today's action scores, which are all alike. Note the use of pizzicato strings. The score to Die Hard has a personality. Michael Kamen's music was so distinctive that you can often identify him as the composer after a single chord. Die Hard is also notable for the not-so-quiet contributions of Cayman's orchestrators and additional composers, namely Christopher Boardman and Bruce Babcock. I read about it in Film Score Monthly. Michael Cayman was a collaborative soul. He enjoyed working with themes written by others, and he also enjoyed when others worked with themes written by him. It would be a shame not to mention the two closing cues, which are part of the temp track, purchased by the studio at the order of John McTiernan. The emotional music for John McLean's face-to-face -face meeting with Al Powell is tracked with a touching cue from composer John Scott's Man on Fire, and the reappearance of Carl is tracked with a thrilling, unused cue from James Horner's Aliens. 
generally tracking is frowned upon as it is an artistically bankrupt practice that stems from nothing more than temp love. But if you're going to track, you may as well do it in a score that is already fundamentally built on the incorporation of pre-existing music. Kamen returned to score Rennie Harlan's Die Hard 2, where he would make use of Sibelius's Finlandia, which unfortunately isn't half as compelling as the Beethoven. For Die Hard with a Vengeance, it was Kamen's original intention to adapt Brahms's first symphony, sometimes jokingly referred to as Beethoven's tenth. That didn't work out though, and Kamen had to alter the plan. So, there we are. Michael Kamen's score for Die Hard, one of the classic action suspense scores of the 1980s, and I give it 4 out of 5 negotiable barrel bonds. If you like this video, please subscribe and leave a comment, and if you did not like it, who cares?